asked. Uh, today's date is four four fourteen. Yeah, four fourteen nineteen, and it is a Sunday, and we are live once again. And like last couple weeks, once again, Gump is in here. He is now. I know why he's not here. He told me it was work before. It's not work. He's fucking watching Game of Thrones. Uh. He's watching the. Is it the last season of Game of Thrones? I, I don't know. I never watch it. I don't watch it either. I, I mean, I watch oh, the like Walking Dead. <clears throat> I know it's a new season, but supposedly it's the last season. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, I read that one. Somebody say well, it's gonna be like the last one. So, if you guys will remember this, and we would get back to this, there are people who watch or who are watching live, or when they hop on later on, <clears throat> give Gump a lot of shit about him not being here because he wanted to watch Game of Thrones instead of being here for the for his. For his uh, for his own fucking co-hosting job as my co-host <laughs> on his own podcast. Oh man. <clears throat> anyway, so we're sitting here with today. Our guest is Jefferson, Jefferson, Jefferson Garcia. No, no Jefferson Guevara. Guevara? Yeah. You, I thought it was Garcia. Well, man, I've been fucking name. up your name yeah, this whole time. Know. Okay, how do you spell it? Guevara is G U E V A R A. Where'd they get Garcia from? I don't know, man. You well, you wrote it on. in my notebook. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right. Jefferson is a local DFW comic. <clears throat> I first ran into him a few times uh, here at the local Arlington Improv and Open Mics. Uh, probably, what, like nine months ago? Yeah. So I've been seeing you here and there uh, ever since then. But I don't really see you at other places that often. Do you not go that many? Yeah, I go in like uh, hyenas every time in Dallas. That is okay. Yeah, that's where I always go over there. <clears throat> Sometimes it's kind of hard because I got like a, a day job. Mm -hmm. So anytime when I feel like so tired or if I don't have any time. You just so don't I go? Just, yeah. Okay, and... and um, but you you've uh but you've been doing this for a while, right? How yeah, long have you been yeah, comedy yeah. for? I mean, I've been doing it now for like well, I I started in two thousand twelve. Uh huh. But I was when I was in Venezuela, not even a country. Yeah, you're from Venezuela. Uh, yeah, I'm from Venezuela. So you got a very strong accent. Yeah, I know. It's, it's I know. cool though. It's I just like, try. It's a cool. Yeah. It's like the kind that like the white ladies, the white American ladies go. Kind that's of yeah, I mean, that's what the people say. You know, it's pretty funny because sometimes I, the lady they say, "Oh, I like your accent. You know, that's so cute. That's sexy." But can you write it down because I can understand what you try to say. You no, know, it's gonna. <laughs> it's gonna ruin. Yeah, that means that you can badmouth them and they won't know. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I I just started two thousand twelve. You know. So just joking. That was in 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 Spanish when mm -hmm. I started. Uh, so after that, I decided to move to Texas in 2013. After I finished the college, um, and I started doing comedy in 2014 in English. So you started in Spanish in Venezuela. Yes. What was the comedy scene over there like? It's pretty good. I mean, it's getting bigger. Yeah. Like the thing right now is like uh, Venezuela is having a really bad time right now. Like for the political things yeah. it's happening. Um, what is going on over there, man? It's the president, you know, it's trying to be like a Cuba. Wait, don't they have two presidents? Right now. They have, they have the one that, like, the, the, the one that, like, actually won, but they say he rigged it, and then they have uh -huh. a guy who's claiming that he's the, pe uh, like, yeah. the people's champion. Uh, like it's, he's, it's something like that. Like, yeah, he's the saying that I'm the this guy, but he doesn't want to leave the place. Yeah. So it's like a big fighting right now. It's a That's little, insane. Yeah. The people they don't have power, they don't have water. It's it's really sad, you know. It's sad. It's horrible. Like, they don't have food. They got nothing right there. And uh, so, what is the big issue? What are they fighting over? Like, what do you do? You, do because you know? the, the president, they, he just tried to be like you know, like Cuba, like they like, want to do whatever he want to do. Mm -hmm. It's not like if you go into college because you want to be somebody and you want to get more money. It doesn't work for you because even if you, I, I went to college to be a lawyer mm -hmm. and you feel like you don't get enough money to live in that country. Yeah. So that's why a lot of people try to get out from there to see more opportunity outside and try to, you know, get a better life and everything. Yeah. Um, so, what? you came on the boat? No, no, oh. I tried, but no, <laughs> I just flew, I flew from there. So, okay, so... So in other words, it's like he's pretty much hogging all the resources to himself. 
Or yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not like all that. Uh, he tried to be like everything. He just want money, you know. It's like yeah, what I'm saying. He's trying to, to be like a, like a Cuba, you know. They want to be. <coughs> they want to make their own rules. They don't want everybody to grow up or get his own business and mm-hmm. get a lot of money because they they have the power from everything. Mm-hmm. So that's why the people they just try to get out from there, like the big companies. They used to be there. They just went out to like American Airlines, Delta. Uh, a lot of big companies they just get out from there because they don't see. Uh, they don't feel safety right now. Okay, so like, yeah. So if you don't have no airports like that, how do you fly out of there? There's no. Well, way when I did it, it's a still. It wasn't. <laughs> yeah, that you bad, went like back right then. Now, yeah, but that was like right now from five years ago. So do you have family over there right now? Yeah, I still have my my girlfriend is right there. I got oh, a shit. daughter. She's Your daughter? Still, yeah. You better hurry up and get her ass over here then. I know, I just tried to... You can uh, leave the girlfriend though. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> she want to leave you, right? <laughs> so you are my passport. You need to go. I need to go with you. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I'm joking, people. Well, yeah, man. So, does that worry you? I mean, I'm pretty sure you're kind of Yeah, worried yeah, about of it. course, yeah. Every time, like, I try... when Because when I used to go to Venezuela, the last time I went over there wasn't... January. Mm-hmm. So after that, uh, American Island they closed, so I can't go back Mm-mm. for I don't know for how long. But I have, well, I still have my family there, and just try to bring it over here. So I'm just trying to work in all my things and you know. <clears throat> so um, this whole thing that's going on here in America, where like if Trump were to shut down the borders, yeah, does that mean that that's shut down from you know people from? Venezuela too from South America. <laughs> Does that I mean, mean that they won't be able to get over here? No, I mean, they, he, I think he he's tried to help people from Venezuela too because there's a lot of Venezuelan mm-hmm. people right now in this area, in, in all the United States, mm-hmm. and he's just tried to help people like uh, <coughs> making maybe some uh, visa or a special visa or something yeah. so the people they can work, they can stay here for a little while until the problems in Venezuela is gone. So I don't mm-hmm. know how long it's gonna take it. But he just tried to do something for the people. For yeah. That. What did you see in the news when uh, <clears throat> there was like a problem? It was Fox News who did it, but they they <laughs> they was having problems. I think I'm not I'm not sure if Venezuela was one of them, but like some of the South American countries, I think like Salvador was one and and another one, but <clears throat> they put in the titles like uh, <clears throat> it said. Oh shit! What did they say exactly? Mexico's other countries mm-hmm. or other Mexican countries, and it's like, but they meant that it's so stupid. They're calling the other, um, the other Hispanic Mexican. countries <laughs> Mexico countries. It's like no, Mexico is only one country. Exactly. There's yeah. no other Mexico countries. Exactly. Yeah, Salvador, I don't know what happened. Salvador, Salvador, you know, like Venezuela, all that, that. That's their own countries. <laughs> They're not part of Mexico. So. So he probably he think like he's another <coughs> state from Mexico. That, they had, but they had that in the subtitles. Um, you know how they have the headline yeah. and what they're talking about, and and I was just like fucking Fox people. Wow. <laughs> how do? They're so stupid. They, they probably still working with a student <coughs> or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. You know it, was, it was mistakes. ridiculous. I know it was a mistake, but come on, how do you not? How, who who? The person who's in charge of that should know better than that. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe they don't have money for a good production, and that's what well, happened. I have no idea. I mean. It's Fox News, so they're very... Everything's going to happen with Fox News, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, well, I hope that everything happens okay. But I do want to talk more about the, the comedy life over there. Because I know, I listened to a podcast. Um, it was Joe Rogan's podcast. He had a comic on there that was also from Venezuela. And he had talked about doing comedy over there. And, <clears throat> like, he talked about, like, the difficulties of doing comedy over there. And some of it was, like, um, he's had been trouble where... He had gotten himself in trouble because he had made jokes that mm-hmm. he shouldn't have made. Is that does that happen? Like the House of Freedom of Speech over there, or is it not as much of a freedom of speech? No, I mean what I think it is like that's my opinion about comedy. I think comedy is is hard mm-hmm. in any country in yeah. any say anywhere. You know, oh, it just know. depends on you how hard you want to work in comedy. Yeah, because I start in Venezuela, I want to say, and um, I start with a small group. And after that, we start doing like, you know, you start this thing like doing for free and free and you go over there, they probably, they never pay me, but uh-huh. they pay me with probably with uh, any beer. 
or they pay me with <laughs> a slice of pizza, you know? Yeah. That's what I, the comedy do, and I start doing that. I pay for myself my tickets to go to another state mm -hmm. and do my shows in another state, so that's how the people, they start to know who I was. Yeah. And I traveled a lot when I was in Venezuela. I met a lot of people. I met a lot of comedians from everywhere, from people they, they was working on the TV in Venezuela, and they was doing comedy. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on you. What, what, what is your goal? Yeah, because I heard the guy had made a joke about some somebody famous' wife, and I think he said she was like she was pregnant, and they asked him something. He made a, a joke about how uh, how he would get her pregnant, even though she's pregnant, because how attractive she was, and he got fined. Like I'm pretty sure he got sued by them, and he had to actually pay the money because uh, the, the husband sued him for saying uh, I think he like he like what's the word where can't think of it but like he pretty much like he, he made fun of his wife so he felt like he was being rude uh, rude but he was being rude but like like uh, like his manhood was being tested you know like oh you 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 uh, god damn I don't know how to say it some eight Thing, type of mindset no no it's just, it's just like <clears throat> I, I don't know but either way either way the guy got shown he had to pay a lot and <laughs> it's so funny though dude. it was a stupid joke and he said he had to pay all like 20 30 thousand for it <laughs> for a bad joke and so he what said, he's from he's from venezuela too yeah he was from venezuela what is his name? I, I, I don't know if i could uh if i well, if i had my producer here or somebody to do research but I don't because I don't know where they're at. Because <laughs> I usually have somebody, my producer Addy is usually here to do research while I'm when you know, <clears throat> so that I can do the podcast. And, and uh, she's not here right now. So well, uh, the thing is like, but whatever. Anyway, but he was on there, and I do, I do remember that. Yeah, I mean, when I, back in the day when I was there, uh, all the comedians we know each other, you know, mm -hmm. because we always the same. Every time when you got a show, it's like a. We used to go like in rotations, like uh, one week you're gonna be in Dallas, uh, yeah. next week you're gonna be in Forward, next so, week you're gonna be in, you know. So would you be in different cities or just like different? No, I'm just talking about when I was in Venezuela. Yeah, right? but would it be a different city or would it be Here the same in United city? States? No, no, in Venezuela. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was traveling in Venezuela doing the show. But what do you guys do? Do they have comedy clubs over there? Yeah, right they there? have comedy clubs. Yeah. But they probably, they have like, it's not like a comedy, comedy club like right here. Yeah. Because the standard comedy in Venezuela, they probably have like 15 or 20 years. Yeah. So it's not that much. But is 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 like the people, they start doing comedy like in bars or probably in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So the people, they already just start to get in. Kind of like where, um, like, did you ever watch the movie Goodfellas? No. No, okay. Well, in the movie Goodfellas, they had a... It was like you know it's back in the day, but they had um, they had a stage for the band and the singer, and while they all okay. sat down and ate, is that kind of what it was? Yeah, like? it's something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's something like that. A, a yeah, they got like a stage, and the people they go over there. Like the, let's say on Wednesday, some people is in the band going over there <laughs> and you know play some music. On um, Thursday is the comedy show. On Friday they have something else, and that's why they work. When I was in Venezuela. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's it's cool. kind of like, you know, I don't know if you've ever been in New York, but in New York, they do comedy everywhere. I have, no, I have not been. I mean, in New York, they do comedy even in the 7-Eleven. Even in the, in the, in the, uh, I know they do that here in Denton. And have you been in Denton? Oh, yeah, 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 I saw in that. Denton, yeah. they have, they'll have, like, little gas station, those, they have a lot of, like, uh, what is it called? Those beers? Craft beers? Uh -huh. They have a lot of craft beers and they'll do comedy over there. Dead. I mean, I remember one time I was in New York and I did a comedy in the comedy store. In the what? Comedy store. That, you know, like, the, the see, they have, like, a, a comics book. Oh, comic book store. Yeah, comic book <laughs> store. Oh, really? Yeah, I feel so weird. I mean, what was that it was, like, it was in New York. In New York, did you yeah. make fun of all the nerds not getting laid? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that guy's not getting laid. <laughs> but that was weird, you know, like the people they just checking out, they, they comments, you know, and you was there just doing comedy. Were people laughing? Yeah, some people it was reading, and sometimes it was like, oh, that was funny. Yeah, and this kid was just <laughs> reading the thing. I don't know. Um, is there anything here that, like, where, like, there's a group of, of Hispanics here that do comedy over yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, we got, we got, um, last year, we make it like a group. 
-hmm. comedy and we are producing <coughs> shows in Spanish uh, in DFW. Uh, we just try to next no in June we gotta go we're gonna be doing comedy in New York because okay. we got yeah we got like a, a name for mm -hmm. the show it's called Rompiendo el Muro sí. it's like a breaking the wall uh, and it's pretty fun it's pretty fun because it's people from Puerto Rico Mexico uh, <coughs> Spain uh, Venezuela and we just try to build something different yeah and just give it to the people, you know. So you're gonna go to New York for that? Yeah, we're gonna be in New York <coughs> next in June. Mm -hmm. And this month, next month, we're gonna be in Addison Impro doing the Rompiendo Muro. Okay, so the little group, who's, who's all in that? It's like six people right there. You wanna give a shout out? Yeah, should go over there. No, I said, do you wanna give a shout out? Like, shout out to the, no, no you don't wanna shout them out? <laughs> okay, who's all performing with you? Do you, uh, do you know all of their names? Yeah, <coughs> Roberto Silva. His, uh, his nickname is Monkey. Monkey? Yeah, Monkey. He's a producer. Uh -huh. He's doing the production stuff. Uh, he's doing comedy too. Uh, Luis Garcia. He's a man comedian from Venezuela. Yeah. Maicia Chabert. She's from Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. uh, Will Borson. Uh, he's a he's gringo. Yeah. He's an American guy. <laughs> but he learned Spanish in Spain when he was living there. Oh, okay, cool. So he's in the group right now. He's in the group right now. Um, the other person is Midnight. Jesus Castillo. Yeah. He's doing comedy in English too. Jesus Castillo? Yeah, Midnight. I think I know Jesus Castillo. Yeah, you know who is he? He's like a big guy. He's pretty cool. Yeah, I think yeah, I do. Yeah. Does he have pretty. glasses? Uh, no. No, not him? Okay, no, maybe that's somebody else. No, that one is Luciano. That's Luciano? Yeah, Luciano. He's <clears> pretty good too. Do you know uh, Fernando Panda? Yeah, I know Panda. Yeah, yeah Panda. <laughs> I saw yeah, yeah. He was here last night. We did a special MMA podcast. For, yeah, he's from the UFC. Yeah, he's hilarious though, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> he's so silly, I think he's, he's he's Mexican or Puerto Rican. I think he's. I, I'm not sure actually. I think he's Mexican. He's Mexican. Though. Yeah, 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 he sounds Mexican, right? Yeah, he's told us he's Mexican. Well, well I mean, I, yeah, I can't recall all the time. Uh, uh, yeah, but he he's been on the podcast about three or four times already. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, I like having Panda over. He uh, he's a funny guy, man, and he's gonna help me out with my comedy too because he's been doing it. A lot longer than I have, and we're gonna sit down and work on some of my sets. Yeah, that, that's the key for this. You know, <coughs> in this game, when you're doing comedy, you need to find somebody where you can write down jokes, where you can, you know, meet him like every one, every two or one time a week, mm -hmm. and you start writing down. That's the secret for this. You know, if you want to grow up and do comedy. Yeah, because I know not everything I write is funny, but mm -hmm. I know that it can be if I just look at it. From somebody else's perspective. Yeah, I think it depends. Uh -huh. You know, like, everybody have like different point of view. Um, my my thing is, uh, you can write every day. Mm -hmm. That's your homework for every day. It just depends what is your goal in comedy. So you need to write every day, but you don't need to think about the funny things. You need to write like, oh, this is gonna be funny. No, just write. Just write. Do whatever yeah. you want to write, just write. <coughs> After that, you're going to see like, oh, this is funny. Okay, I'm going to work on it. Oh, that one is funny too. I'm going to work on it. But if you start like thinking in what is funny for the people, it's not going to be funny. Yeah, because the funny thing is when you say something real, uh, for you it's not funny because it's something happened to you and the people think, oh, that's funny, man. Yeah, you see? Yeah. Like, just depends. Yeah, because sometimes if you like, if you write down and you're trying to be funny too hard, mm -hmm. it doesn't come off on stage right. Yeah, it looks like you're trying differently. You're trying to push. Yeah, right? you're it's, to push not, it's not gonna work like that. So usually, <clears throat> usually like if I like, I think that happened to me in my last set when I did a showcase. Mm -hmm. I think I I tried too hard on making certain things work and it didn't come off natural. And what uh, what, what I think is what happened to me. When I was in Venezuela, uh, when you're doing comedy in Spanish, it's really different when you do comedy in English. Oh, yeah. It's like I, a big transition. You know? I don't it's know like if I a can big do it. thing. I don't think my Spanish is good enough to do a Spanish comedy. But the joke. thing is, like, uh, I start watching people in English. <clears throat> I used to go to the comedy clubs and watch people, like, what are they talking about? Because I need to talk about something. Mm -hmm. And what I found out, it was like, I need to talk about my life. Because everybody here was talking about like the high school and all that stuff, and I can get it because I never went to the high school. 
because I, I was in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. So everything was different for me. So what I did was, okay, I'm gonna talk about my, my life, what happened to me when I got here and I didn't speak in English. And all the mistake I make when I try to communicate with the people, I, they understand something different than what I try to say. So yeah. I start to think about that and start to write it down what happened to me and that one, that one, that one. And I found out like, okay, that one is funny. And you, I explain like, sometimes, like I have a joke, like I write it probably two years ago and it's working right now. Yeah. After that. Isn't that weird though? Like, it's weird. Right? You write yeah, a joke yeah. like three years ago and then you try but it But again. the people, you know, some, some <clears throat> comedians, they, they just write it down or they think they say something and they say, oh, that's not working. And they just... Get rid of it, yeah, they yeah. Put it to the back you, you, have to do do you have to rewrite it, <coughs> rewrite it again, and rewrite it again. You know, you try to shine the joke. That's what I'm hoping. I've only been doing comedy for a year, but I'm hoping that one day all my recordings, because I record just about every set I do, yeah. I'm hoping one day, like, I'll go back to my recordings and be like, oh, let me see if I can do that joke now. Uh -huh. and I'm hoping that in two years from now, stuff that didn't work now works then. <laughs> yeah. You know, because. I think, I don't know if it's because it's a different time. I think it's more because those three years you've changed as comics. So when you did a joke at first, you weren't really that confident. So when you do it three years later, you're more confident. So the joke actually comes off better just because you've already had three years of experience. That's one thing. So. Another thing is like sometimes when you are working one joke and you think that one is perfect, you just need to change maybe couple words mm -hmm. and the joke changed totally different just for the work just depends what you're trying to say in that joke and the people they can get it yeah and that happened that's that's why you go into the open mind you try the joke you record it you see you hear the, the joke later you say okay that one was funny i want to try next week with different things or with different point of view mm -hmm. i want to put that one right here and you try it and the people say oh that one is working now so that's how it's supposed to say this one. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the people, you know, it's a little comedian, they say, oh, I got like, I got 20 minutes on set. When you really don't have like 20 minutes, you probably got like 10 minutes. <laughs> because the other 10 minutes, you're just talking about yeah. something else, you know? So, but it's a lot of comedian. They say, oh yeah, I got 30 minutes. Oh, I got an hour. But it's not really it's an, not hour. Really an hour. No. They just when you that. say, I got 10 minutes, because your 10 minutes is really strong. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, you need to worry about like to make really good five minutes. <clears throat> After that, you start working another five minutes. Mm -hmm. After that, you get another five minutes. That that's how you build it up your bit. That's yeah, my. You know, that, I, hear, that's I, hear, I hear a lot of comics say that. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Uh, I forgot his name. He was just here. CJ. Do you know who CJ Landry is? CJ Landry. He goes to Dallas a lot, so I don't know if you might see him over there. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm really bad with the name. He's a really tall, really skinny guy. Probably I don't about know. six three. CJ Landry. He uh he was here not even two, three weeks ago. He said the exact same thing. Like makes five minutes perfect. A lot of yeah, yeah. hear that from a lot of comics, so Yeah. <clears throat> I mean I, I I know comedians like from probably the last five years and they're still working on the same joke. It is not because uh, they wanna say the same thing. They just try to get better mm -hmm. with that joke. <clears throat> And that happened with everybody, even with the Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart yeah. has been on the game like for 20 years, 25 years, and they start with all the jokes right now. Like, yeah, he's a big person. He can make a joke. Uh, he got people who make jokes for him. Yeah. But most of the joke he started like when he was pretty young. He just changed a little things. Yeah. And the people, they don't know that. You know? No, they don't. No, yeah. unless he sits there and tells some people. Yeah. <laughs> unless he comes on the Rogan podcast and just lets it all out. <laughs> and be like, oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, no one guys suck. <laughs> but yeah, man, I mean, <laughs> you know, comedy <coughs> stuff, you know, it's really, it's really hard. And the people, they think like, ah, you're not funny, man. I'm not going to be there, you know? It is hard, but you know, it's very fun. Yeah, it's fun. I love comedy, man. It's very fun. I love comedy. This is my life. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's that's awesome though that you get to, that you're going to New York. Yeah, even even okay. like I got like a, a day job, you yeah. know. But I still so looking for my How am I gonna be gone then if you work if you have your day job? So you gonna take vacation and go? No. The quit? thing is like yeah, I got I quit. Right I'm no. going to New York bitches, I'm gonna be famous. Like right <laughs> now I got like a, the best job, you uh -huh. know, because I'm working in, in the airport. 
So oh, I tried yeah, to get that job. Yeah, I tried to get that job for a long time, but I was like, I need to get that job. I need to get it. So after I get it, the good thing in this job is like I can give it away my chef anytime, mm -hmm. and I can work for somebody in another day. So if I need to go to New York, I just mm -hmm. give it away the days what I needed, yeah. and I work for that person in another week, you know, or in another time. So that's a good thing. It's like flexible for me when yeah. I'm doing comedy. You know, so how, how many, like I said, how many days are you going to be gone for? You can be gone for like... But how many days are you going to be gone specifically for that trip? Oh, for the trip for uh, New York and the yeah. Spanish? Uh, it's going to be like three days. Three days? Yeah, you're going to be like bad. three days. Yeah, I just come back from Washington. I was in the comedy <coughs> festival right there. Oh, in Washington, D.C.? Yeah, in Washington, D.C. I was there this week. How'd that go? Yeah, it was good, man. It was yeah. good people, good crowd. What was the show called? Uh, it was Level Up Showcase. Level Up Showcase? Uh -huh. And the other one was... Uh, I forgot the name for the other one. How did, how did you get notified? Was, was Is that part of the group, the Hispanic group that you're with? No, no, no. no. That, that, that one was in English. Was that a whole separate thing? Yeah, yeah. How did you separate. hear about that? How did you get signed up for that? I mean, what I'm saying is like... It depends what is your goal. When you, for me, I love comedy. Uh -huh. So I'm always on the internet just looking for comedy festivals every year. Uh -huh. When you go to the first comedy festival, you start to make connection with another comedians. <coughs> and they let you know, hey man, uh, it's another comedy festival uh, in January. You can apply next month. Oh, it's another comedy festival in LA. Yeah. So you can apply this month. Oh, it's NBC. Uh, it's gonna be in Seattle next month, so it's so an what you, But what are you looking for? What are you looking on? On the online? It's, it's a group. It's, Facebook yeah, on Facebook, they got like a big group uh -huh. where you can uh, get in and they post all the comedy festival in the whole country. Yeah. And international and everything. Oh, okay, I see yeah. what you mean. And then you just make the time to go travel and go do the show yeah. and come back. Yeah, every time when I apply for a comedy <laughs> festival and they pick me up, uh, I just try to find my my day off, you know, I know I need to be done this, this day, this day, this day, mm -hmm. because I'm going to be out of the town. That's cool, man. So you actually go uh, to different places and do your, you pretty much practice your comedy in front of a, a crowd every time. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. About. I just try every time, whatever <coughs> it's comedy, I'm going to be there. And okay, what, <coughs> excuse me, when you, um. When you say you apply for these comedy festivals, what do you have to do to apply for them? Do you, just uh, you need to get no. You need to fill that out like a. You need to fill that out some paper like where you put your name. Yeah. Uh, your address, where you are coming from, and you need to. Sometimes you have to pay like ten, fifteen, or twenty, twenty dollars. Yeah, to get into uh, it. To get into it, uh, but that doesn't mean you're gonna get into it because you need to send a video. So it's a thousand people. They apply for it, and they only gonna pick that out like. 100 or 50 people or yeah. 20 people 20 comedians or whatever so i mean some of the, the comedy festival not all the ones but some of the comedy festivals they they got like people from comedy central people mm -hmm. from you know from naca what is they working with the comedian on the college yeah uh, it's a lot of people producer from everywhere they just looking for fresh for new faces yeah the people from just for Lao. it depends just depends where you're going oh, okay you have to submit a five minute video too. Yeah, you have to submit like five. <clears throat> five Do you minutes. have one? Yeah, I have a lot. Where did you make a five video minute video from? Yeah, I mean, uh, or did you make it yourself? Sometimes I make by myself, but sometimes when I used to, uh, when I go into the uh, Bosch showcase, yeah, you know, Brad's right here. He always recorded. <coughs> That's a good thing because he got like a good camera. He recorded, and I take those videos. So when I see like a really good videos, like a good set for me i just start to apply for it I start to send it to everybody oh okay yeah <coughs> so you get, you get the butch sometimes you yeah yeah, yeah. I, I start with dutch i i get some from butch but all my videos they're still have only been like three or four minutes long i haven't okay. been able to get a five yeah minute set. yeah you need to get like five minutes set but it's a pain i mean it, it doesn't you don't need to be with butch you can yeah. get in another stage and you can record it with your with your phone yeah this is gonna be like good. Like they need to see you, and they need to hear like the people they are enjoying your show. Mm -hmm. So that's all what you need. They don't looking for like a perfect video. Sometimes yeah. it just depends what comedy festival you know. But you need you can start like with the with some comedy festival like they are not really big. Mm -hmm. So that's that's how you make connection with people from another city or people from 
another comedy clubs, they start to know who you are. Yeah. Because you can go to another city and say, oh, I'm here, I'm Jefferson, I'm going to be doing comedy over here. And say, oh, <laughs> what the hell you are? I'm like, who, who are you? Are. Yeah. yeah. Just pop up out of nowhere. Yeah. Like, I'm from Venezuela. Let me in. Yeah, here my accent. This is my accent. I want to be here. <laughs> I tell jokes about like like that. white American women. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so stupid. <laughs> you call him? No. Mm-mm. No, he, he watches some. I mean, he watches our team, but like, he's been to a couple of the showcases okay. with me. Uh, Jonathan, what do you do? I'm trying to become a UFC fighter, bro. Yeah, he wants to be an MMA fighter. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. So we've been uh, working out here and there. Kind of slacking on the working out, so man. To be honest, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know you are. But that doesn't stop you from going to the gym. I know. That, yesterday, I was going to... I asked Lana, too. I'm like, are we going to go today? Because I was going to start walking. But then you said we're going to go. And then I don't know where you came back. You're like, all right. I started doing that. So, I didn't go. Oh, yeah. The computer. Yeah. I. And then you said yesterday we're going to go today. Excited. And I was going to go in the morning if you didn't. But you said yes. Yeah, so. We had our own workout. Yeah. We did our own workout. <laughs> And then don't invite me, bro. Wow. Yeah, no, we're not going to invite you to that one. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, man. uh, I I, I do recall seeing you at a couple of the showcases with Butch. Have you been into any of them lately? No, not lately. With Butch? Yeah, with Butch. Yeah, I did it probably like two months ago, I guess. Yeah, I I did one about four weeks ago. Yeah, I was in, I think it was (laughs) Dallas. Yeah, I did the Dallas and I did the one here in Fort Worth. And, and he's gonna be another one in May five, Cinco de Mayo. May fifth. Yeah. I can't do that one. I have a special podcast I'm doing with. Uh, yeah, I think it's, he he invited me guys. to be there, so I'm probably gonna be in that one. And I'm gonna do a comedy show in Spanish in Addison Improv mm-hmm. for that day. <clears throat> Addison Improv. I haven't I haven't been there yet. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a nice place. I'll be there like a couple times. No. So is this one is it, if it's in Addison, oh. is it a paying one? Hmm. You can pay, you can make some money. Yeah, yeah, you can get some money. It depends. I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, comedy. What I'd say is, is it a showcase? No, no, no. It's a it's a show. show for like in Spanish. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> it depends. Like, oh, obviously, I want to do like comedy, like my life, like yeah. my day job, but. I'm not worried about making a lot of money right now. I'm just worried about making my name. Yeah, like the yeah, people they can, out there. they can know who I am. Mm-hmm. So I don't care like if they pay me or they don't pay me for now. If they pay me, it's good. But if, if they don't pay me, and I still get paid from the people who get laughed. Yeah. That's my pay. Yeah. That's what I think for now. I've done that a few times where I do comedy at this place. I, I went to Denton uh-huh. to do a little show. Uh... I think it took him like three months to pay me, but like I wasn't worried about it. Yeah. Hey, it was just fun to go out there, <clears throat> do comedy in front of a little, probably like 10 to 15 people. Just a little crowd uh-huh. in this little place. But it was fun going out there to do it. Yeah, I mean, so. I've been working with Hyenas like since last year. Mm-hmm. I've been hosting all the Hyenas here in DFW. <clears throat> and they pay me. They still pay me, but I still make connection with the comedian, with the headliner, mm-hmm. with the feature, you know. And all you know, that's a lot. When you uh, when you're hosting uh-huh. and you get to know the comic that's coming in, yeah, you become you hang out with them. They'll give you little tips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's always <laughs> like you get people. They they can see who you are and they say, "Oh my, you are funny." You know what? You can be in this show. I'm living in LA. You can come over there. I can put you in my show because I run the show every week. Yeah. And that's how you get <coughs> into the another stage. Like, yeah, it like, is oh, man, because you great. become friends with the comic and yeah. then. And then the comic's like, oh, I'm going to be nearby. I'm going to be in Austin. You want to come do a show? Yeah. Like, yeah, I'll go down to Austin to do a show. Yeah, show. sometimes they, sell, they have like a, they, they own show and they say, hey, man, I need a, an opening. You know, can you open for me? And they say, hey, yeah, man, I'm going to be there. It's better for them because they don't have to pay like the ticket to somebody else yeah. who's coming from New York or LA or whatever they're coming from because you're living here. Yeah, and sometimes they don't want to. They don't want to like hang around a certain, too many people. Like they just want to come do what they have to do and head back. Yeah, yeah. And you know, with people, I think like uh, was it like Theo Vaughn that was here not too long ago? Do you know who Theo Vaughn is? Who? Theo Vaughn. 
you, no, I don't deal. Know. He was here. He, I think he was at the Addison Improv a couple of weeks ago. Okay. <clears throat> but he came by himself. He did, you know, he did his show. And, like, he was, like, super tired because he had just flown in, did his show, and then, like, the very next day, the very next morning, he had to get up, do a radio show, and then yeah. do another show at night, and then fly back. So he was by himself, uh, but he hung out with, um, I think it was Mona, Mana? Oh, Mana. Yeah, yeah. Mana. He got, hung out with Mana and them over there. So that was cool. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean... But, like, the, the point is, like, he he just wanted to come do a show, then fly back. So he didn't, you know, he didn't uh, really stick around with bringing anybody with him. It is better sometimes. Not to say it's better to be alone, but it's you know sometimes it's just cheaper. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more cheaper of course <clears throat> because you're working just by yourself. You know, it's your own business. Yeah. You do your thing. Um, the app and you know like what I'm saying is comedy is really it's hard because especially if you have to go to another state and come back and you got to show that night, you're gonna be tired because every time when I I hate I hate you know be on the plane. I don't like the plane. You like to play? No, I hate it, man. <laughs> because you know, I, I just wanna sleep. I do, you know, I wanna be relaxed, and that's hard to sleep in plane. Why? I don't feel comfortable. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable. You're gonna fall? <clears throat> no, I don't. No, I, I mean, just, I'm not scared about it's it. It's just not comfortable. I mean, yeah, the I know, seats I go back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like I mean, I feel like. Oh, does it feel like, like you? Yeah, I was like two days ago. I was in Washington, so for some reason they canceled the flight. Yeah. So everybody got like you know crazy. They canceled the flight. Everybody's angry. Everybody, you know. Just talking like, ah, I want to go home, I want to go home. And you get tired of just listening to people. <laughs> Why they, you know. <laughs> just like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. We can't do anything anyway. Just just be quiet and just let me sit here. So, and you got, you got, you, you think you got home, but you got another show anywhere, let's say Dallas, and you have to drive to Dallas. Man, that's really. Yeah, no resting period. Exactly. No, no downtime. You feel like, oh man, I just want to sleep, you know. <laughs> I haven't gotten to that point yet, but when I do, I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to punch somebody. <laughs> <laughs> One day, I mean, we all, if I, <clears throat> if we all do comedy long enough, we all just, we're all going to get there. Sooner or later, we're going to get to that place where you're just like, fuck, why did I get into this again? <laughs> I, this is why I'm doing comedy, so I do this stressful bullshit. But <clears throat> it all pays off in the end, I think. It hey, will. I think so. Um, do you know Vincent? Vincent? Yeah, I don't know. Vincent. I'm really bad with the name, dude. Uh, he was here last weekend, but we talked about his... He did a, He went to Spain to do the bull run. Uh-huh. Uh, but we talked to him, and he was telling me just stories about himself and how he's going to... You know, he's been in and out of comedy, but like I really think Vincent's going to be a great comic. Oh, is he an Asian guy? No, no, no he's he, Hispanic. He's from Spain. Oh, he's from Spain? <clears throat> No, he's not from Spain. Didn't he say he's from Spain? No. He went to Spain, but he I swear... He went to Spain. I swear he said he was from Spain. Went, no, he's, he's... So, but he went to Spain to do comedy in English? No, he no. wanted to go around with the Bulls. Yeah, oh, to okay, do the okay. Bull run. But, like, I was just talking to him. I was like, you know, while I was talking, I was like, man, you're going to be a great comic, man. <laughs> I was like, just... You just see it in some people, you know? You just see them wanting to get out there and get active. So, I mean... When I when I start doing comedy, I never imagine I'm gonna be here in the United States. You know, I've been doing comedy in, in place I never never imagined. Like two years ago, I was in Thailand doing comedy. What are we doing over there? Doing comedy in Did Thailand. They yeah. Standard comedy, yeah. In English, it wasn't English. <laughs> but they yeah. understand. Oh, I mean, no, because they got like a it's just one comedy club just for English. You know, and it was people from England from. Uh -huh. Everywhere, just what they're Germany. I've heard about that place. I've heard about that place. In I can't remember what, what was the name, but it's in Bangkok. Mm -hmm. It was in Bangkok. It, they have like a one street, like a seven street to say. It was more popular in Bangkok, and everybody's getting crazy. Yeah. So, how was that, I, man? Did you get a lady boy? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, that was crazy over there, you know. I remember when I was Are there, they hard to tell shit. the difference? Are you I mean, like, you can see, like, you question question it? You see, like, some ladies that they look pretty hot, and you say, Oh, look at these ladies. They say, Hey, hello, how are you? You want something? You <laughs> what? <laughs> you really want something? No, I don't want anything. <laughs> well, that was, that was fun, man. That was really fun. You know? <laughs> We're crazy. That's cool. I want to go to Thailand one day to do comedy over that, there. That is crazy. Yeah, how did you land that gig? Fame? Huh? How did you land that gig by 
Are you mainly people? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was. I mean, the good thing is, like, I met people from everywhere, you know. Uh-huh. It was coming from China, Japan, <clears throat> everywhere. It was people, it was comedians from anywhere. Mm-hmm. One of the comedians, I remember that guy, he's in Comedy Center already right now. Yeah. Um, he was doing, he, he was doing a tour in, you know, in China. He went to Japan. He went to uh, Dubai. Uh, he, was, he was doing great. If that's a good thing, you know, that like you can say like, oh man, I, I should have stayed with that guy, you know. <laughs> but you never you never know, man. The never company know. is like <clears throat> Where else have you been? What else? What else? Yeah, yeah. where else? Uh, in the world. I've been well, I just Thailand and here in the United States like it's a lot of place. Mm-hmm. I've been in New York like six time. I've been in Sacramento. Is traffic crazy how they how they put it in the movies? Yeah, it is, it is. I don't like to live in New York. If you have to live there, no, no man. I like Texas, you know, I like Texas because it's pretty chill, it's really relaxed, <clears throat> but I can, the thing is like I'm working in the airport so I can go over there anytime, and that's a good thing, yeah. but most of the people or most of the comedians, they think um, if you move to New York, that's going to be like the perfect life, or that's how, uh, that's how you're going to be like the best comedian, yeah. and that's not true, because no. I mean, if you want to be like a really good comedian, it's all you. You have to work by yourself. Even if you are in New York or even if you are here. It yeah. doesn't matter where you are. Uh, the comedy in New York is pretty, it's this badass. It's pretty cool because they start doing comedy from 12 o'clock in the afternoon until 2 o'clock in the, in the morning. In the morning, yeah. The whole day. So you can hit like five or six mic a day. Uh-huh. And that's how you start to grow in all like pretty fast. You know, yeah. but I think you don't have, you don't need to be a New York. Like the people think about, like, oh, I need to be a New York because I'm gonna be the best comedian. You can be the best comedian <laughs> even if you are in Texas. It doesn't it all, matter. Yeah, it just depends on how much. Yeah, because I, I, I mean, it's a lot of comedian here in DFW. They are really, really good. They are really good. Yeah, there's a lot of good. And I, here. and I know, like, they don't need to be a New York mm-hmm. to be like the best comedian. You just, you know, you just need to find your own root yeah that's that's all that's about <clears throat> you need to find your own for well, for one you need to find your your personality on stage yeah. which i haven't i don't feel like i've found mine yet no I'm sometimes still, they so, take a long time yeah. you know it's, it's taking a while I, I still haven't found myself yeah, it's on the same stage people. i'm just trying different things out here and there yeah it's just still <clears throat> like different people you know like they still have like 10 years they're still working on it you know it's not that easy i'm gonna go grab some water up here but yeah <laughs> <laughs> Is it a similar part of Cuba? Cuba? Cuba. I haven't been in Cuba, dude. Uh, but they're not like close. Uh, maybe like it's the island, but uh, I don't know how far it's gonna be from Venezuela. But the close countries like you know Colombia, Brazil, oh, Venezuela. Colombia women are freaking amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. They are. <laughs> are you married to a Colombian? No, she's Venezuela. Venezuela. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, she's Venezuela. But it's a lot of beautiful ladies from Venezuela too. But I like the accent, the Colombia accent. You know? <coughs> it's funny. It's very really, like sexy. Well, it's sexy if he's the lady talking to me because if he's the guy, it's gonna yeah, be yeah. 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 What are you guys talking about? Venezuela and Cuba? Yeah. Cuban? Yeah. yeah. Colombian, and I was asking where his wife was. You know, I've been seeing a lot of Colombian people here. It's a lot of, I mean, it depends. No, Maybe, yeah. I don't know here in, in, in Texas, but I have like a few friends. They live in New York mm-hmm. and they have, uh, they do comedy too. Um, they do a show from only Colombian people. Just the five comedians they do comedy in, in English and in Spanish, and, but they are from Colombia. So five. Okay. So it just depends, you know. When I got here, I didn't see like Venezuelan people. Right now, it's everywhere. Do you? Yeah, they really like, win. I don't run into it. Yeah, it's Addison, in. Addison, Dallas. There is a lot of Venezuelan <laughs> people right there. They look like a Gremlins. You know, you just put water. Is, they are everywhere now. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Gremlins. You know the Gremlins, the movie? The Gremlins, yes. Yeah, you just put water and they, go they just everywhere. multiply. Mm-hmm. You can't feed them after two. <laughs> <laughs> Turn into crazy people. <laughs> uh, I guess so, man. Uh, but that's a good thing about America. You meet all kinds of people, all yeah, kinds yeah, yeah. of nationalities. 
It's pretty cool. I mean, especially like in like what I say, <coughs> New York. It's a lot of people from everywhere. You know, like people from Asia, from everywhere. Yeah. You know, I want to get on the podcast soon. Uh, what's that Asian guy's name? Ah, I can't think of his name. Thong. Pan Pan Pan. Something like that. Yeah. Pan. Yes. I, I don't know how you say it. that name, so I don't want to read that. I don't know. I think it's P A N and G, something like that. <coughs> something like that. I want to yeah. get him on the, the podcast too because because he's uh, just because of his accent, it's so rough to understand sometimes. But I want to sit down and have an, a full blown conversation with him so I can. Start. Yeah, it's really hard. I mean, especially yeah. like the people they tell me that you know, like I got it like a strong accent. So every time when I do comedy in English, I I try to talk like really slow. But I don't know. Sometimes when I I am on the stage, maybe the you know the adrenaline is too. Like, yeah, yeah. They you just start going. Talk, yeah, they made me talk like really fast, and the people sometimes like, oh, what are they talking about? <laughs> I don't know, but that's funny, you know. I don't know, he's but he's funny. sure is. Yeah, he looks like he's that. funny, so it must be something funny. I'm so used to people when they talk like that. When they talk like what? Really quick? No, like people don't understand them, but I get to understand them. They have Puerto Rican accent. They gotta. But I ask him from a different place. Mm -hmm. You like, understand it completely? Most of the time. I like, I love accents. <clears throat> I try. I mean, English accent, I mean, with an accent like that, I can understand. Uh, but when, like, Spanish, I'm still, my Spanish is still pretty rough. Like, I know it somewhat. So you can understand in Spanish? No, yeah, I can understand Spanish. Okay. But if they start talking too fast, sometimes I don't. And I don't always yeah. get, I don't always get, like, um... Uh, we'll say like you're trying to say something like I'll, I'll translate it verbatim like I'll understand what the actual words mean but like when they put them together I don't know what they're talking about okay I don't know what it stands for yeah like uh, give me an example you get a comer pizza. what <laughs> did you understand me? Yeah. Did you, no, wait. Did you say ask if I want to eat pizza? Yeah. Yes. There you go. Yeah, but that's very literal. Oh. Give me like a slang slang. Ah, uh, me voy a coger otra, otra mora. Nah, that's kind of, that's still not slang. So. <laughs> What's a you're slang gonna go bang a, Okay, here's one. <clears throat> it's a dirty one, though. Um, my cousin told me, my, my cousin, they speak mostly, just about all Spanish, hardly mm -hmm. any English. But he told me, <clears throat> he was talking about a girl and he said, Lo vas a hacer babir en nopal. And I was like, what? He like, sabes como la nopal, you know, when you cut a, a cactus, uh -huh. it starts to it starts to drool. Yeah. You, know, you get that sticky stuff out of the cactus. He was talking about that's how her pussy would be. Yeah. But, you know, for me, I take it literally. I'm like, <laughs> what? The cactus is going to be drooling? And he's like, si, sí, pero yeah, para la panache. <laughs> I was like, oh, you mean she's going to be wet? Yeah, totally, yeah. It just depends, uh, like, where are you coming from? Because yeah. everybody got, like, at his home. Even if it, because you speak Spanish, it doesn't mean you, you're you going to understand what he tried to say. Yeah. So I'm being around, like, people from Puerto Rico, people from Colombia, people from they all have Mexico. Different ways. So they always have, like, different cool, ways. And cool I asked. Dan, you know what culo dando is? Uh-huh, yeah. That's stupid, right? Yeah. yeah. So cool. it depends how i mean right now i know like to talk with mexican people or talk with uh, puerto rican guys because they know right now mm -hmm. the, the first time when i talked to them they was like oh man they say something you know like puerto rico they always say papi hey papi ¿qué pasa? Say say, papi what the you talking about? i don't like say, that why are you calling papi that i don't I like papi, that yeah, do you I like that say papi. hey it doesn't matter i mean i don't you know, like, like it i don't like when a grown man is calling me papi hey papi I'm like, no, what? Like, stop, I, I work with me, puerto rican bro so i got he, I be calling Papi at work sometimes. I'm like, you're on the Papi. And at work, all the that, girls like, why are you, like, why are you calling him Papi? I, no, I, growing up over there, my homeboy, he's from Spain. He called yeah, me Papi, th too. That doesn't feel weird? No, it doesn't. Because the only person who should be calling me Papi no. is my son. It feels weird. <laughs> it feels weird if a, if it's in English. Hey, Daddy. No. Yeah. No. Why? That's it's weird. the same thing? No, no. It just sounds... Why? Why? It, I don't it know. doesn't make sense. It's in the English, same thing. In English, it sounds yeah, different. Yeah, it's the same. Right? It's, it's, different. it's always different but in different languages. Yeah, it's different in different languages. It depends what you try to yeah. say. Yeah. Exactly. See me up now. <laughs> but <it's> get on <laughs> that level. <laughs> no, I don't like. The, I don't like like the way I tell people at work. They say that to me. Now they don't call me Bobby. Like what? What do you mean? Why not? Like, cause uh, no, the only person who calls me Bobby is my son, and he's nine, and he's allowed to do that. 
No, I don't even want my girlfriend to call me Papi. No, none of that. You gonna be a Papi? You hungry? No. <laughs> that sounds so queer. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, I'm okay with like you know they call each other primo or some people would call each other. Tío, well, your like, primo you know. is for Mexican people. They say, hey primo, come here. Tío, right. coño. Exactly, yeah. I don't. I never hear people call each other coño. Really? I mean, I hear them saying it. But not saying, hey, like, coño, come over here. And they'll be like, okay. <laughs> I don't hear that. But there is one Puerto Rican I work with. <clears throat> he doesn't know any English. And his Puerto Rican is so, so heavy. I don't understand what he's saying. Yeah, because time. they speak too fast. I No, it just, it, it doesn't even sound like, it doesn't sound like words. It sounds like noises, sounds like, oh, <laughs> and I'm like, what? what? Hello, 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 hello. It's because he talks fast, huh? Yeah, they talk like, fast, and they, they talk probably, super fast. And yeah, this and they probably talk like though. really, you know, like they always. Every time when they they talking, they say uh, the the word hello. Like, papi, ven, vente pa acá. ¿Qué tú estás haciendo, coño? Vente, vamos a hacer lo que tú estás haciendo. Mira, vente pa acá. Yeah, there you go. So they talk like that. They just, talk like that. I just say like, what? What? He just totally look like one of the guys. In yeah, they, they and talk like that. One of the gay guys at, at uh, what's that thing called? Over there in uh, Dallas. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, they move their hands like that too, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> they be talking. moving all over. Yeah, it's just, oh, I, I used to talk. I used to work with the guy, and he always talking like that. You know, he was to me, oh, papi, te me hiciste algo, papi, tú estabas conmigo y tú viniste a pagar. Bueno, si me lo hicimos. They do that shit what? so much. <clears throat> they why? Why do they, they start? It's like they have to dance while they're talking. Maybe you know. I don't know. You know what? My mom, she's married with the American guy. Uh huh. And he doesn't like when the people talk like this with the hand. He he say that is rude. So he doesn't like that. So <coughs> I am Latino and we talk like sometimes like we, yeah, yeah, we talk with our hands. It's not like, like Puerto Rican, like he moves like really, really fast and all that, you know. But uh, every time when I talk with my mom, he he think I was in argument with her. Yeah. I say, Hey, what's going on? I say, No, hey, we just talking, okay, we just talking. Just chill. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so he, he feel like, hey, it's cool. What happened here? He doesn't like that. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, you know it's different, you know, culture, like the people from America, the people from uh, Central, uh, South America. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's like... It's yeah. Like, well, I mean, I, I understand the talking with your hand or whatnot, but I feel like... I, don't, <laughs> I just feel like Puerto Ricans, when they talk... Like they're slowly dancing, so if they're talking while they're walking down the street, they'd just be dancing the whole time down the street and while they're talking with their hands all moving. Well, it's the fans too, you know, because I feel like the chocolate people they talk like that too. The who? Chocolate people? What the hell? Is <laughs> 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 That's what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate people. <laughs> I don't want to be like rude. You know? <laughs> I like it. I don't want to be like <laughs> chocolate people. <laughs> You know, they always talk like that, you know, they, every time when you see people, like, they are talking, they just talk like, hey, I'm going to talk to you. Let me tell oh, you, my God. You just talking like that. I mean, it's just a band. I think, like, everybody have his own. You just did the shenanigans. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that a couple times. Like, I don't understand how that helps any conversation, you know? If you want somebody to pay attention to you, how are they supposed to pay attention while you're clapping your hands at the same time? Very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Because, <clears throat> and funny, I brought this up before, but, you know, we were watching the UFC, uh -huh. and we watch, I like, watch a lot of the women fighting, and I brought it up from saying, I don't see that many, like, black female fighters, and I was wondering, like, you would think that they'd be a lot of them, because they're very athletic, just like their male counterparts are very athletic, Yeah. but there's not that, there's, there's hardly any black, or, there's none, MMA, MMA fighters, and I was wondering why. I was like, I don't know why. I was like, because uh, they'd be good at fighting. Maybe, or they just totally <laughs> like to fight with the hoes, man. I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they like to fight a fight. They know they can win. <laughs> Something they'll get. I'll, I'll only fight for my alimony paychecks. <laughs> like, I only beat up my baby daddy. <laughs> I had a co-worker of mine. He, uh, he got into a fight with his baby mama. And she hit him with a Nerf gun, you know, the little plastic Nerf gun. Mm -hmm. She hit him in the forehead and gave him a little cut right here. And we came to work one day, and we were like, what the hell happened to you? He was like, oh, 
Her name was uh, Ebony. Ebony hit him. Hit him. <laughs> she like Ebony hit me with a Nerf gun. No. <laughs> I was like, why do you keep going back with her? I'm like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I just love her. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Once you go anyway, chocolate, you never want to go back. <laughs> hey, that's not true. I've had chocolate before. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> go back every once in a while just for a taste, but you don't want to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So. <laughs> so. You have a, a daughter? Son? Yeah, a daughter. I got a daughter. Yeah, she got eight years old right now. Eight years? Well, she going to get eight years. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 29. So you had her when you were 21? 22, yeah. 22? That must be tough, man. It was, yeah. It's been really hard. You know? Yeah. Just thinking about my family all the time, and I'm doing my comedy, and I have to take a job. Like, to have a lot of dinero. Yeah. And I have a lot of things in my house, in my in my head, you know, like all the time. Yeah. And when you see the news, every time when you watch the news, and you see like, oh, hey, what's going on in Venezuela? You start like, oh, I just want to be my family, you know. Do you feel? Do you use that as a? Does that help motivate you too? You know, motivate you knowing that you're away from your daughter. Like I've got to make the best of this comedy, because it's not only your future, but it could be for her future too. I mean, I think like I got. I got motivation every day. I just try mm-hmm. to be positive every day. Mm-hmm. Every time when I go to work in the mornings, I'm always missing something uh, for motivation in the mm-hmm. morning. Just watching any video uh, from Tony Robbins or Joel Austin, and for anybody. Just try to keep positive, you know. Um, what I want to approve to my daughter is whatever she want to do in the future, she can get it he just need to work on it yeah she that's to. what i want to prove i don't want to be a comedian <coughs> to i don't want to do like comedy to be millionaire in the future mm-hmm. i just want to do comedy because that made me happy it doesn't matter if i have money or if i don't have money it's just because that made me happy it's just only one life in this world and even some people they got like a lot of money they they don't they don't feel happy even they that but they have like a the whole minutes, you know. Yeah. I just want to do like what made me happy. Yeah, that and I want to prove to her like she can do whatever she want. But even if she feel happy, that's why. That's the reason that what she need to work on. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> so how, how how long do you think it'll be till you can get your family? Or I your think over here they're to gonna be States? right here this year. This year? Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna be working really hard for to get them. Over here this year. That's yeah. good. Yeah, I got like a, I got really good. She, my girlfriend, she's really, really, really amazing woman. You know, she's yeah. been supporting, supporting me like since I started in the comedy in Venezuela. She's been with me every time. Um, on any time when I feel like you know, sometimes you feel like ah man, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, she's right there doing like hey, you can do it, just do it. You know, that's why. And I think like behind. Any good man, you always have like amazing woman. That's what I think. No, that's true, bro. That's a lot yeah. of people say. That is very true. <clears throat> now, let's hope when she gets over here, she doesn't slow you down. Like, why are you leaving me now? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> she don't be like, ah, I need time. You know, just stay here with me. me. Go to New York and you come back. <laughs> just leave me here with. The <laughs> Nah, that won't happen. She'll she'll definitely be very nah, yeah, very, yeah. very uh She's been traveling with me. She came here last year, you know, just to be here and mm-hmm. she can see how is the life here in America. And she was traveling with me when I was doing college. How's her English? No, she doesn't speak English. Oh no. No. Yeah, I try it. like she's taking some class but you know, that never worked. Because how did I you learn? I learned here just talking with the people like you. Yeah. Just talk with the people. I went to a school to learn English, you know, but they teach you like the proper English, you know, like, hello, how are you? This car is blue. You don't talk like that when you go outside. <laughs> people go outside, they go, hey, what's up, boy? How you doing, bro? Yeah, how are you, man? And you go like, hey, 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 slow down because I can't understand what you're trying to say. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. So <laughs> that, that's how you learn the English. You just talk with the people all the time. And when you go, what I did is like, I always have like a notebook with me yeah. and a pen 
And when I didn't understand something, I asked the people, hey, how did you say that? And he told me in English. So I wrote it down in Spanish because it's the way how I understand that. Like, yeah. how do you say that? Like, hello. So I put in Spanish, like, hello, right? Uh -huh. And after that, I say, how did you spell it? And the people tell me, okay, it's H-E-L-L-O. And I put it right there. And I say, what does that mean? And he say, oh, that means hola. And yeah. I put like, okay, hola. So every time when I didn't understand something, I put it in my notebook and I was practicing, <laughs> practicing. Like the, when I, I was working, but that time I was working in science yeah. club. And I think like the people, they always, the people always see me like I was talking about myself, but I was talking about myself because I was practicing like that word. Yeah. Like, okay, the car is blue. Oh, what's up, man? You know, I got a car, it's blue. And I was talking like by myself and the people said, excuse me. And, they, and I was talking about myself. I said, excuse me, hey, sir. I just talking to you. I, can you tell me where is this the soap? And I was like, oh yeah, it's right here. But I was talking like the people. They probably think like, oh, this guy is really fucked up. He's probably using too much drugs. Or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people will understand maybe if you. Yeah, some people understand. Some people say, oh yeah, this guy. But some people they don't. They say, like, what the no. fuck is going on with this guy? Like you ever get tweaking. crazy He's words tripping. like, uh, like <laughs> stop? What's that? E ejaculation? <laughs> How do you even spell that? <laughs> e G. I mean, I got like, I don't know. What does that mean? Well, sir, <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this story, man. That happened to me uh, uh -huh. like four years ago. I think. Uh -huh. I was working in Sands Club, right? Uh, right there, I got a manager. Uh, my manager, she was like a really hot chick. Yeah. She was really hot. She's from uh, Croatia. I don't know where she at. She's from Europe. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> she was really hot, you know. And she tell me, hey Jefferson, can you do me? She made me to do a project, you know. Yeah. Some blankets, she put it right there so the people they can see it and buy it and all that. Um, and I said, okay, I do it. But I forgot, like, I, I was needed some clips, you know, the clips, like, you can put the blankets. Yeah, yeah, the like, little clothespin yeah. clips. So I went to the office, and she was in the meeting with another manager, and I, I get into the office, I say, excuse me, and she goes, like, yeah, what's happened, Jefferson? And I say, I, I need something for the blankets, you know, I need some clips. And she goes, like, um, she turned lights, she got red, and she said, don't say that again, because I am in the meeting right now. And I say, wow, that word. You can say that word. And I say, okay, but what happened? What? And she said, no, you need to say clip with P, no, clip with T. And I was like, what does that mean? And she was like, you don't know what does that mean? <laughs> and I said, you don't know. No, I don't know what it means because I mean, I, I didn't know how you say clip in English. I, I, I assumed it was clip, like the same thing in Spanish. And she was like, I'm not going to tell you that. You know, you need to Google it. <laughs> you need to Google it. When I went out, it was another dude right there. And I said, hey, dude, I don't know what happened with my manager. She got, she got mad. Yeah. Why? Because I say I need some clips. And, and she got mad. She was like, <laughs> what? You say that? And I said, yes, what is that? And he said, like, you don't know what is that? I said, no, can you explain it? what is that? And he goes like, yeah, man, you know, okay, he's the guy right here and he's the girl, right? And I said, yeah, okay, the girl, they got something over here, right? I say, yeah, you know what they pee? Yeah, I know what. They got a little thing right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, you're talking about that, man. That's messed up, you know? Okay, but she, she totally could have handled that a different way. She could have been like, okay, I'll get you some clips, but just remember the pronounced clips. Yeah, she went She had to do that. She didn't have to say, whoa, do not say that again. You're like, what? No, she could have handled it a whole different way. But <laughs> but she, she preferred to get that way, and I was like, okay. Mm, to me, that... That tells me that she has somewhat of a dirty mind. <laughs> Probably, yeah. yeah. Cause, yeah, so you can you can miss like you can say the word "come" and some people would be like, "Oh, he just sent somebody to come." But a person with a dirty mind would be like, "What did you just say?" Like I just said the word "come," you know, and then come over, come yeah, come to my place. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, so I was walking over and like. And I asked her to come, and somebody would be like, with somebody with a dirty mind, would be like, whoa, that's an interesting conversation. And somebody would <clears throat> just has a, you know, doesn't have see things that way. It'd just be like, oh, I don't know what they're talking about. But that thing happened a lot when you were talking in Spanish. You know, the people yeah. in Spanish they always make it a joke about when you say something inappropriate. You know what I don't get about in Spanish is like everything always reverts back to joking around about uh, homosexuality. Yeah. Always, always, always. <laughs> no matter what, yeah. any jokes always comes back to 
it always turns into something homophobic. Uh huh. All the time. But then yet <clears throat> but they're always the quickest ones to to be so anti homophobic. Like, so they're always against, you know, gay people. But they're so quick to joke around with each other's friends about being doing yeah. something gay. Like <laughs> I'll do you know, oh blah blah, I'll do this to you, blah blah something like that. And it's just like what? But then when you talk to them, they're like, "Oh no, gay, gay's wrong, gay's wrong." But you joke around about it, uh-huh. everything. Is, hey, I here's the thing: I think like I don't care. <clears throat> I know I was being like there that kind of people, some... like I'm open, like you know, I can have like gay people friends, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, even I don't care about that don't, either. I mean, they could they could but be like, gay, but if he's happy, it's good for him. I just even don't if get... he don't touch me or something, right? Doing something inappropriate because I just don't get why all their jokes are always are like that. Catholicism. No, but I'm saying, like, you can't have a different joke about something. Oh, well, yeah, it's like a human joke. Or a first joke. It's, it's, I don't know what you're saying. <clears throat> you're too far for me to hear you. So, it's it just, I don't know. I, I don't get it. <laughs> it's just, I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> like, joke around about something else. Like, we can joke around about whatever, uh, you know, people tripping or people doing something dumb. But yeah, yeah. I think the people they always do when they try to make a joke about it is because it's the more easy way to get a joke. I think about so it. too. I see that so a lot. So the people they just try to be funny for the easy way. <clears throat> I see that a lot. Yeah, the, the 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 I forget what it's called, but there's a certain word for it in English. But like, it's just like the easiest way to make a joke, and it's like it just doesn't put any effort and. Uh, a lot of people just do the same jokes over and over again, mm-hmm. just in different kind of very little, little different ways, but it's pretty much the same jokes. Yeah. <clears throat> and to me, that gets irritating. It's like, ah, oh, this joke again. Like, I work with a lot of different uh, types of people at work, you know, a lot of black people, a lot of Hispanics. And from the Hispanics, I hear the same gay jokes over just different slight variations. Yeah. I always gay. And it's like, oh, not this again. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever. So <clears throat> you go like, ah, I know this show already, man. Yeah, like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah. What the black people? No, they have different jokes, you know. But mostly about me not doing anything. I'm like, yeah, I don't do anything. I don't yeah, do anything. Black people always do that, though. What? They always say that somebody doesn't do anything. Yeah, like, they're bro, quick, you ain't doing they're, nothing. They're quick to and say And then they're not even not doing, doing anything. I'm like, what are we talking about, bro? You get to work. I, it just varies. I know they're just joking around, but I don't really care. <laughs> it bothers me. It's not like it's not true. <laughs> now, if I was actually working and they say you never do anything, I'd be like, oh, no, I've actually worked. But it was like, they'll tell me, like, man, you don't do anything. I was like, no, I do not. I do not. <laughs> what do you want me to say? What do you do at work then? <clears throat> I just do. I just do this and that. You, because, you're the forklift driver, right? Yeah, I'm a forklift so driver. So you're driving all day, right? Yeah, pretty much. So you are working. Yeah, but uh, okay. Here's the thing. There's people who who have forklift drive who have forklifts and are supposed to get orders and supposed to pick them, and there's people who have forklifts and they're supposed to load load trailers, and then there's me who I come in at eight o'clock. Not like and nobody else comes in at eight, just me, and I grab my forklift. And for the first hour, I just drive around seeing what I got to do. If there's anything a little extra, little things I got to do, I'll look for anything to do. I'll pick up pallets here and there. So the first hour is free for <sighs> Yeah, no I'll kids. probably go to the bathroom, take mm. a piss. You're a special case. So you, you're just getting oh, yeah. one hour for the company. Just the donation for you, technically. In you a way. Just do <laughs> <Just> <laughs> <get around. laughs> yeah. yeah, and then like I'll, um, eventually, if they need me to load a flatbed, then I'll do that. But for for the main part, if they don't ask me to do nothing, I'll just grab a broom, start sweeping. Uh, we get a lot of damaged products mm-hmm. and pallets, and I'll take the pallets that are damaged, I'll put them in one spot, and then I'll start fixing them here and there, you know, just little stuff like that. Uh, but my managers know that I find a way to stay busy, so it doesn't look like I'm just standing around talking to people. That's one thing I don't do. And I think that's one thing why they kind of leave me alone. Because I don't just walk around to people and talk to them. Mm-hmm. I'll stick to myself and I'll find little things for me to stay busy. <clears throat> but in reality, if people were to ask me, like if they gave me an evaluation and said, <clears throat> said and looked at my, pay, like, at my 
my work, like as far as like you know, we use a gun. If they looked at my gun to see what kind of work I did, they'd be, there'd be nothing on there. Nothing. They'd be like, okay, well you move this pattern over there and you put these things away for like 20 minutes. But what did you do after that? <laughs> like, on, pa- on paper, in the system, there's <laughs> nothing that I do. Like I know what I do. I can talk about what I do and I can write it down. But if they were to look at my... my, my uh, <laughs> if they were to look at my stuff on the computer screen, they wouldn't see anything. Because <laughs> a lot of stuff that I do doesn't come up on the computer screen. So what, what are you going to say when if you leave, hate the site to check it out? Then <laughs> I'd be like, well... Canon. They're going to be like, oh, I don't know what happened. They're probably nah, didn't get batteries. No, nah, I'll tell them what happened. I'd be like, well, I, mean, I was fixing pallets, or I was sweeping, or I was moving things around. You can tell them that you're sleeping? No, sweeping. Sweeping, sweeping. Not <laughs> sleeping, sweeping. <clears throat> well, you've done that before. And, uh, and then, like, my brother, he works with me, too, but he's, like, he's more important than I am, let's just say it that way. <clears throat> and he'll be telling me, like, hey, uh, make sure you don't talk about stuff that I do at work. I'm like, I don't care. Okay, like, I won't talk about what he does at work. And, <clears throat> and he tells me, he's like, but I was like, I don't give a shit if I talk about it because it's just a regular entry job. Yeah. It's nothing serious. So if they actually watch this and we're like, we're going to fire you. For this. <laughs> I don't really care. It's not that important. I mean, yeah, maybe I'd have to find another job. <clears throat> but it's not really that hard to find a job now. There's yeah. jobs everywhere. There's temp agencies everywhere. And then, you know. You can get a better paying job, too. Yeah, I might even find a better paying job. Who yeah. knows? Whatever. Better <sighs> With better insurance, I guess. Apparently, my insurance isn't good enough. I think little it's Lana. <laughs> I know. Look at her over there. She's uh, I got my own uh, slave over there. Hey. <laughs> you can't say that you <laughs> She's cutting up my fruits for me. Instead of picking fruit for me, she cuts it for me. For the lunch time? For the lunch, yeah. That's, I, oh my goodness, that is a lot of fruit. Look at that. Yeah, I know. That it's going to be for the whole month, but. It's for uh, the week. <laughs> it's so, that's for the week? I'm not going to eat that much fruit. Yes, you you better are. eat all that, Alana. You're going to eat it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, she's going to make me eat it. <laughs> you have to lose that belly. No, we're talking about something <laughs> else now. She's going to make me eat it. Yeah, I do have that. <laughs> Oh what man! Like uh, what else can we talk about real quick? So you going to New York? Yeah, I'm going to New York? York and June six. <coughs> June six. Uh, but I'm gonna be, I'm going to New York in May first and second. I'm gonna do uh-huh. a, um, a show right there in Spanish. Yeah. And I'm also probably gonna hit some mics in English too. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a show this weekend in Hyenas. I'm gonna be this weekend in Hyenas. This um, weekend? Yeah. Well, eighteen. Are you opening 20. for somebody? So, yeah, I think. Uh, 18, I'm gonna be open for Latrice. I don't know who Latrice is. Uh, she's from Dallas, I guess. Latrice oh, wait, wait. La- Latrice Spence? Yeah. Spinner? It's, I think that was the last Spinner. One. Yeah, I work with her uncle. Uh, <coughs> her, her uncle is Donnell Spinner. I work with him at my job. Mm. He's an older guy. He doesn't do shit. He's a FedEx guy. I mean, he does stuff. <laughs> I hope he never sees this. He's never gonna see this. Uh, I'm gonna he be... does stuff. He's just, he's, he's just very slow at it. <laughs> he's pretty old right now. He yeah, keeps tired. He's like in his forties or fifties or something like that. That's not that old. old. He's not old yeah. No, it's not. But he's. <laughs> Look, you're all, you're all I'm gonna have him. him. I'm gonna have him on 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 here one day. Cause him, his him and this old guy named Willie, and then this other guy named Al. They're just like, to, I like to call them the the Black Three Stooges, cause they're so goofy when they're together at work. <laughs> Me and my brother have been talking about trying to get them out here together to do one podcast because they're they're really <laughs> they're really silly older guys. They're just goofy guys together. <clears throat> but yeah, that's her uncle, and she he's, he's always telling me about her. Um, and I've seen her do a couple sets. I actually had to go on stage after her one time. Mm-hmm. That was rough, man, because she was good. And then I went up, and then I bombed. <laughs> People were just. <laughs> I don't know if I recorded it or not, but I went up after her and I did horrible because, you know, she's fucking hard to follow. Yeah, yeah. She's hard to follow. <clears throat> I, I can remember. I don't know it, uh, his last name, but I think... Like, Who? Patrice. Let me see. 
No, it's La Chase Wilkerson. Oh, Wilkerson. Okay, yeah. that's not her then. Yeah. La Chase Wilkerson. She's, she's pretty funny. She's been doing comedy for a while. Yeah? Yeah, I worked with her like a couple years ago. So she's going to be the headliner? Yeah, she's going to be the headliner. Uh, on Friday, it's another headliner. I don't know who's going to be. It's another guy. Um, for the 20, it's another headliner. Too. Who, uh... Who books you guys the for you, for the um, hosting? Who does right that? now is doing uh, is Ryan Ryan, Ryan Perry Ryan Perry yeah, Ryan Perry is doing that. He's working on that <coughs> for like I don't know probably like the last seven months or yeah. something like Who that. Who was it before him? Before him, he was Butch. It was Butch? Yeah, Butch was working on that one. Is that before he got in trouble. Yeah, before he got right. yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is drama. Little hyenas drama. Oh, who got the I'm not going to talk about it on here. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, just, <clears throat> you know, uh, but yeah, so. I need to get Butch on here, too. He'd be a funny he's guy. Pretty, yeah, he's pretty funny. He'd be a funny guy. He has a lot of experience. Yeah, yeah. He started doing, you know, <laughs> he's been doing comedy for over 30 years. Yeah. Uh, he helped me a lot, you know, in this, this comedy thing. Did yeah, you take so his uh, course, his Butch course? or you no. just Or just helped you by talking to him? No, I just talking to him, you know. Mm-hmm. And when Whenever he gave me the opportunity to get on stage, yeah. uh, I worked really hard, you know, to do my best <laughs> at that time. So after that, I keep doing like Butch case, you know, every yeah. every month when he did it, uh, and that's how I start like feel more comfortable, you know, on the yeah. stage, do getting you, the crowd work. Do you have any advice for being a host? Yeah, man, I think like being a host is like. You need to be like yourself, you know. Mm-hmm. You need to be yourself. You need to enjoy what you're doing. Just try never uh, go over your time. Uh, when you are hot, you you are right there to do like. You are not the star. You need yeah. to think about that. Like the headliner is everybody's right there for the headliner. Yeah. That's your opportunity. Like where the people who came to see the headliner, they can see you. In that mm-hmm. moment, that's your big opportunity in that stage. So just try to don't never go over all your time. Yeah. Do your best because you are you're gonna have like ten minutes, maybe fifteen minutes, depends. Do the best and just always make the people try to the people uh, they like they com- feel comfortable. Yeah, and they make feel them feel happy, comfortable. You know, they feel good to be there, and they they feel like they are enjoying the show. Yeah. Do you, do you feel like you have to do um, a different type of comedy while you're up there for hosting? Like maybe a little cleaner, uh, a little more family oriented jokes? No, I, I feel like you have to do like how you feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. That's how you need to work. But if you are a cleaner comedian, you mm-hmm. do your comedy is clean, that's the best. Mm-hmm. Because the clean comedy is going to help you anywhere. Even yeah, if you want to be in the TV, <coughs> if, what I say early, it depends where you go. Yeah. But if you do like clean comedy, that's going to help you a lot because you get more opportunity than somebody else to mm-hmm. get on the TV, to get a, a comedy on the, everywhere, the church and everywhere with the family people because that's how the people they like more, you know? Yeah. Uh, because some of the people, they got kids, right? And they don't want to leave the kids with somebody else. They want his kid every time. If mm-hmm. you do a comedy show for the family, they're going to be his kids. Yeah. And you're going to get more people right there. Mm-hmm. And that's good for you, you know. But it depends. But I say, you don't have to be like, oh, man, I'm going to be like that kind of... Just be you. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Be you. <coughs> man. Mm-hmm. So, uh, since hosting, have you learned anything different? Anything new? Yeah. Since you started hosting? Yeah, when you start hosting, you you start like... You got more time. Mm-hmm. It just depends how you you get the time on the stage because you start you set like you got ten minutes you got fifteen minutes whatever you got in the first time right and after that is the feature you bring the feature back when he when this is gone you coming back to the stage you got like probably two more minutes and you can say something yeah new or whatever so the pe- you start to see the people okay okay I see this joke I tell that one it's working I probably gonna put it on my show now. Mm-hmm. So after that, you bring the headliner and that's gone. Yeah. But you always, between um, the picture and the headliner, you can make any joke. Or you can say something new, and that's going to work for you. So 
but I say my thing is like enjoy what you're doing, man. Whatever you're doing, comedy, music, whatever you're doing. Just, I don't know, right? I feel like yeah, I'm saying I'm like just panicked a little bit, but do it while you're doing, man. Feel just free. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I'm hoping I'm not in a rush to host. You know, I'm still pretty new. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe two year, two more years, I host. Maybe lesser. Uh, right now, I'm still in the. I'm still uh, just out there to have fun. Out there to try new things. Uh, if I can come up with stuff to host, or if let's just say if I have certain jokes that I know would be better for hosting, then I'll make sure I keep those and practice those, mm-hmm. um, and use those if I ever get the opportunity to host. <clears throat> but uh, but for now, I'm just having fun with it. Um, hey, Lana. Yeah. Can you? Uh, can you be ready to uh, stop the video and stop the streaming here in a little bit? We're about to wrap up. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that's the most I want to see. So, well, I do want to uh, catch up with you again. Maybe come back and do another podcast. Yeah, yeah. When uh, when you come back from New York, um, you say you're going to go in May? Yeah, I go in May, and the next one's going to be in June 6th. In June. Maybe let's talk about, let's plan one after the June one. Yeah, sure. So, uh have some funny stories or whatever and we're, yeah, we're yeah. Call, you come in and we'll just start start talking about whatever um i'll probably have a different comic with you i, I mean I, I still have that if you need somebody like got like uh, another guy uh, and yeah. he's from puerto rico yeah uh he got like a pretty funny accent too when he's talking in english you're probably gonna come in here and yeah, call, if, you're gonna if you ever want to if you ever want to talk to some of your other comic friends because i don't yeah yeah, yeah I can talk I don't, to since them. i don't go out there yeah just let them know um yeah if they want to come on the podcast with you and that way we can talk about them a little intro on them and then since you've already been on we don't really have to do an intro with you yeah, yeah. I'll just start joking around and, and hopefully by then my fucking real co-host will be here <laughs> and you'll be able to meet him he's my, actually my, my little brother and he's a very funny guy I like my co-host he's he's something else I don't even know how to explain him how would you explain my brother? I'm hiatus that's how you would explain him? Uh, he likes to harass Ruben. Oh, he does. He likes He's a little brother. Yeah. He's a little asshole. <laughs> anyway, um, you want to do a quick shout out from your any social media or anything like that? Oh yeah, man, you can hit me up. Um, Instagram uh-huh. is Jefferson con H. That mean is spelled like J E P H E R S O N C O N H C O N H. You can C-O-N-H. hit O N H. You can hit me over there. You know I'm what? Facebook page, I will say course. this though. I will say that I have not seen another person spell their name that Jefferson. That yeah. J E P H E R S O N. So it's very easy to find you on Instagram. And I'm pretty sure if anybody can find you on Instagram, if your Twitter, do you have a Twitter? Yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Different. Yeah, if they can find you on Instagram, or if they can just type that in, I'm sure you'll pop up pretty yeah, quick. Yeah, it's the same thing. <clears throat> like when they put like my name on Facebook, they uh-huh. will show up like really quick because they just put Jefferson, and the people say, "Oh, that's right here." Yeah, that's him right there. Um, and then you said you have some shows coming up in Hyenas. Yeah, I'm gonna be in Hyenas uh, next weekend, and Sunday gonna one? be. In- and forward. And forward. So like, oh, okay. Forward. I'll stop by there. And I'll Thursday, see. Uh, Thursday to Saturday. Yeah. One Sunday, I'm gonna be in Dallas. So you're gonna be there for the free show. Yeah. On Thursday, I'll go early so I can watch your set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What time um, do you go on? Like eight? Uh, eight-ish? yeah. They start at eight thirty. Eight thirty. Yeah. Okay, so I'll be there at eight thirty. Yeah, I'm gonna be there. I'll, right there. I'll come watch your set and maybe record you a little bit and then post it on on the on, on the uh, excuse me on the Instagram for my. For the podcast and be like, hey, you know, he was on here a couple weeks ago. You can catch him, yeah. his episode, blah blah. That would be good. Um, do you have like a Spotify or what do you listen to? No, I don't have a Spotify. I don't have anything right now. Days. Okay, well, it's when I put Facebook, it on when I put um, it on YouTube, you can uh, uh, you can go to the YouTube and check out the video. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I'll send you the YouTube link when I get it uploaded. It'll be done here in a little while. <clears throat> by the end of the tonight, probably. Uh, and I think that's about it, man. Yeah, man. Thank All you, right, Ryan. man. All right, Jeff, son. <coughs> and and then, Ryan, let me know when you're done. Let me hit stop. Damn, did that just you're gonna crack? Count down. Three, did what? Two. Did your knuckle just crack? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I felt that. You are too strong, bro. Jeff, son? Yeah, man. Yeah.
That's uh, the that's my first uh, 